I mean, I, I, of course you think it's important, but to be uh, politically engaged, do you see yourself as politically engaged? In some respects, yeah, as much as, much as a lot of people, not, you know, not massively, uh, I guess, more than anyone else my age. I mean, you know, there's obviously a problem with young people not voting at the minute in, in the UK, but um, I think, you know, I tend to try and try and keep myself aware of what's going on. Obviously, politics is super important. Um, Are you positive about the future? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, science is, um, is doing so much stronger and learning more and more than it ever has before at this point in time and so that you know therefore the world is kind of on the road to getting better i think we still have a long way to go and we kind of need to fix a lot of things quite quickly in terms of how we're treating the planet because that's kind of my main worry for the future especially with someone like donald trump um kind of pulling out of the paris yeah um which is which is quite terrifying uh, but um, yeah, I really think... Um, On the plus side, it's nice to see the whole world finally getting together and not being divided again. I mean, that's the, yeah. the upside of Trump's bullshit. Yeah, I think everyone's kind of realizing that there's kind of, in a way, society kind of runs off having an enemy. And currently, the enemy is this one guy who's running this country. And so everyone can kind of stand up against him and be like, hey, you're kind of destroying the planet. And everyone kind of comes together and... Maybe it'll do something quite important for um for our planet's future. Who knows? So I'm I'm I try and be positive about it. Now on to more important questions. Where did you get the American flag spandex that you were wearing in Paris? I got them in Nola, uh, New Orleans. Uh, yeah, I I was just in a like weird kind of tacky shop with loads of America like leggings and cups and stuff and I just saw them there and I was just like I'm wearing them on stage tonight so I grabbed them wore them and they've stayed in my they've stayed in my my heart ever since I got some America's socks as well I can't remember where from but I sometimes wear the two together um but yeah there's something quite special about you know going around America and finding these weird shops that like in the city or in like truck stops or wherever where they just sell weird clothes like American leggings and I could just be like yes that is what people need to see me wearing um yeah <laughs> you're playing this massive stage tonight are you anxious um no I'm pretty chill I haven't seen the stage is it that one probably the big one it's I mean they're all huge here there's like 85,000 uh, people so okay I um I you don't sound very anxious. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen the stage. I'm sure it's going to be great fun. I'm I'm quite relaxed. It's a really nice day, so yeah, I'm not too I'm not too worried. I'm I'm sure it's going to be a good show. Thanks so much for your time, man. Thank you for your time. Where do you get all those stains? Oh, man, I basically wore the same outfit last night, and we had a like a bit of a big one in Amsterdam. So, it just happens, doesn't it? So there's still pieces of Amsterdam really, all over you. I'm just really day. This actually, these knee stains haven't come out for like weeks. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks.